All right, so solving this problem, all I'm gonna do is cross multiply. If you've ever done something before like, I don't know, three over seven is equal to x over 14. You know, if you cross multiply, you'll, this will be equal to six, but if you cross multiply, you get 48 is equal to seven x, and then divide by that, you get x equals six. So what I'm gonna do here cross multiply so I get sine theta cosine theta times quantity 1 minus tangent squared theta erase this whole thing is equal to tangent theta times cosecant squared theta minus sine squared theta so breaking these down it's sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta cosine theta times uh, sine squared theta over cosine squared theta is equal to sine theta cosine theta times cosine squared theta minus sine theta this is the tangent portion cosine theta times sine squared theta okay so sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta and this cancels out this just becomes one so this is sine cubed theta over cosine theta it's equal to sine theta this cancels out this just becomes one cosine theta minus uh, sine cubed theta over cosine theta so um, I worked both sides of the equation and since I got to this from cross multiplying um, equivalents. Uh, this proves that it's true. All right. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.